Okay, here we are with more live trading. We've just recently placed this particular trade, an inside bar, a breakout, using daily bars. This is also a breakout of the channel of the last three days, highs and lows. So it's a channel breakout as well as an inside bar breakout. So this is good. We've got this trade on. What we're going to talk about now is expanding our trading opportunities. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over to File, go over to Profiles, and go to Save As, and we're going to go to USDCHF. Candle sticks one. Okay, so just name your profile the same way, just like that. There we are. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. What we want to do is we want to use a different currency pair and we're going to use the US dollar Swiss franc but we're going to have the same kind of profile set up here so here we go drag drop drag drop drag drop drag drop drag drop now here's something that you'll notice is that when we do this all the trading lines from our orders showing where our orders would be are gone that's because we don't have any orders in this particular currency pair but we do have orders in the euro dollar US dollar I'll just pop back over go to profiles okay There we go. Okay, so the whole point of this is that you can create profiles like this for any number of currency pairs. You may have your very own favorites, or you just may want to follow along with what we're showing you here and develop your own favorites. One of the reasons that I like the euro dollar US dollar is because it's traded it's very liquid and we want to trade in those currency pairs that are as liquid as possible that's what we're striving for the euro dollar US dollar the US dollar Swiss franc the pound dollar and the US dollar Japanese yen all very liquid and there are others that are liquid too but in the majors which are the ones which contribute the most volume to the Forex market uh, these are the four that we typically concentrate on although you can look into other areas and trade pretty much anything you want as long as you have your risk control in place have your parameters all in, have everything all set so I'm gonna pop back over here to US dollar Swiss franc okay there we go that's everything we were looking at before just in the form of the uh, wonderful US dollar uh, Swiss franc and as you can see lots of interesting things you look around and find you know find patterns and trades that are of interest to you. The nice thing about technical analysis in general and patterns in general is that you can not only apply the same principles to various time frames of charts such as monthly, weekly, daily, but you can apply them to different currency pairs as well. And things such as our simple principle of the inside bar can work very very well in fact 
going to pop through here. We could take a look at a couple of these here monthly. We could work our way back and take a look. Where was there an inside bar? Okay, there is an inside bar. There is a breakout. Now, two different ways to trade inside bars, as we stated before. Either the breakout of the high and low of the inside bar, or the high and low of the bar preceding, or as some people say, engulfing the inside bar. So this broke out to the downside. It didn't ever go back up to get stopped out. And it continued down so far. So that's, that's a good trade. This in and of itself is actually an inside bar. It's a, it's a big inside bar right here. Uh, here's another inside bar. Break out of that low. That's looking good. Here's another thing to consider as well. Take a look at this monthly inside bar bar right here if you're considering trading it. Think about the size. Okay, this is you know, this is a thousand pip bar. So if you're trading on either side of this, then you're talking about a thousand pip if you're going short, you're talking about a thousand pip stop loss on the other side of that. If you're going long, you're talking about a thousand pip stop loss on the other side of that. So the the size of the bars, the magnitude of the move makes a big difference too. Some may have the pattern that you're looking for, but not be of the right type of range or volatility that fit within your risk parameters. See, for instance, this month right here, well, that's almost 2,000 pips big big move so you may not want to trade that particular inside bar so you may look for something you know smaller you may look for something along these lines that's still big monthly trading on monthly charts period uh, requires either a lot of capital either that or scaling your trades your lot size as such that you could take these particular types of trades and if we're taking trades like this and we're looking at 500 say 500 pips 800 pips 400 pips so if you're looking at 500 pips we would essentially be looking at a little bit over three times what we are currently looking at with uh, five thousand our five thousand dollar demo account here right so we have to have fifteen sixteen thousand dollars in that area for that to work out it's five fifty five so, so as that goes up you basically if you're looking to risk three percent you basically you look along here and you take say this particular bar the high minus the low of this particular bar and you see up there that it says okay it's uh it's 814 basically multiply that times 33 and you get a rough idea uh of where you should be with regard to uh, the uh the standard trade 814 pips with a lot size not a standard not a standard lot size of one but a lot size where the each pip where each pip is one dollar rather than each pip being ten dollars like in standard lot size so it'd be twenty five thousand dollars and you multiply that times ten for doing a, a a standard lot keeping those risk parameters some people choose to cho to uh, risk um, larger amounts they choose to choose less conservative ways of trading I guess is what I'm attempting to say here in preserving your capital of course it just makes good sense just stick within one to three percent and because you don't know no one's right all the time and you don't know when you're going to be wrong next and why have one mistake cost you your entire account doesn't make sense does it no so okay and close this out and here here is another profile another 
another set of opportunities to trade in this market. Could look at the very same thing here in this daily chart. And we don't have a clear cut inside bar here. Now this this particular day may end up being a clear cut inside bar with this green bar here engulfing all of it, but we don't have one really clear cut right there. So we could trade a breakout either side of this. I'd like to wait for an inside bar before we you know, make a particular move in that direction. We could see if we could do this on a weekly basis. It's already broken out up there. Uh, the week's just starting, so we can't really tell very much about that. So we're just kind of, again, just kind of taking a look at some of the different types of markets. Now let's pop down here. Profile, save as. Yes, you already know what I'm going to do next, don't you? We're going to do Great British Pound, U.S. Dollar, Candlesticks 1. This doesn't necessarily have to be uh, candlesticks the way we're, we're trading it using inside bars currently, but we'll be looking at some additional things, and candlesticks will be one of those, using candlesticks will be one of those trading methods that you'll find very handy. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're going to drag and drop, drag and drop. Again, we're just creating another profile. And creating profiles gives us additional, may give us some additional trading opportunities. That's what we're, that's what we're looking for. Rather than simply waiting for one particular currency pair to do all the things we'd like to see it do, we multiply our opportunities by multiplying the number of trades that we get involved in uh, in different markets. That's a basic principle of diversification, but we have to be careful because it has to be a truly diversified trade. And I'll talk to you more about that in, in a bit. Uh, but for now, let's take a look. Let's enlarge our charts here and see what the Great British Pound has to offer today. That's interesting on the monthly. Okay, just actually is kind of meandering along there. The weekly is, of course, following suit. Yeah, daily is okay. Nothing. We could look at things. Maybe some bottoming out here due to these particular types of candlesticks. Hmm. Actually, there we have an inside bar. And we could actually trade the inside bar. Let's take a look. Uh, well, unfortunately, we can't because 267 pips plus you add 3 on one side for 273 on the other side for 273 uh, outside of our risk parameters. So that's a trade we would pass on. You pass on trades outside of your risk parameters because taking those trades can get you in trouble. Now, when the daily seems like it's too big in a particular currency pair, of course, you can always look for those same patterns in smaller time frames like the 4-hour here. 4-hour is very, this is a very popular time frame to trade. And it it's short-term enough for those who enjoy the action itself of Forex trading because it can provide a lot of trading opportunities while long term enough uh, to produce some nice meaningful moves as we can we can see here actually you see right here breakout of that inside bar 
actually it's to both sides that's another technique you know, called fading the breakout so you wait for it to break out one side and you then place your pending order on the other side of that bar prior to the inside bar and in this case if you're going would have first gone long perhaps and then down here short to stop yourself out but you want to stay short another inside bar here and this inside bar as you can see spinning top we'll talk about candlesticks but spinning top inside bar and the you can see here the the slowing down of that particular downside momentum going back up that's actually called an outside bar when the high is higher than the previous high and the low is lower than the previous low uh, that's kind of the opposite of an inside bar another inside bar no breakout to the downside there is a breakout here to the upside Let's see yeah we would have still stayed long based upon the breakout to the upside and once you're in an inside bar trade it's going in your direction let it continue in your direction yeah, right so we'd still be long still be long still be long then you could either trade again the ins the breakout of the inside bar itself or the bar prior to the inside bar we'd be doing that to the short side you can see all these things here which I mean that upside momentum is slowing down you can see that in these candlesticks at that doji and the spinning tops here but nothing I would trade in particular right here looking at the at the four hour or even the one hour but again it's here in case you want to come back and take a look at the pound dollar we we both want to do that later so okay we're gonna pop over here and basically this is our exercise in profiles it's another very popular currency pair to trade we'll pop in here and let's just Set some prof set our profile up. Uh, sorry, <laughs> wrong one. No problem. If you put the wrong thing in there. Just put it in there. Whatever you pop over the top of it, it replaces the previous currency pair anyway. It's pretty neat, huh? Yeah, I love the way this works too. So, okay, okay. So there we have it. Let's see what the US dollar Japanese yen looks like monthly could be some bottoming out there let's see weekly what the weekly looks like okay, okay. just approaching some previous lows back here from December 08 that's interesting daily let's see what things look like Japanese yen really can really get moving. I don't see any particular pattern that we may be interested in here, so Okay, let's see for our eh. Again, just show you you have to be selective and still in a, a breakout of 
this particular inside bar, the low of that inside bar, this one doesn't look too, not down there, so I'm not necessarily thrilled about these, what I'm seeing in these particular trades right here, so we'll probably uh, just get back and take another look at those at another time. Here we are back at our euro dollar US dollar trade. Nothing's happening, so there's nothing else to do here. But we've got some additional profile set up and the takeaway, as they say, the, the things to be learned in this particular continuation of trading real time is that when you do find good patterns and good trades like inside bar breakouts then you can do those on a number of different time frames as well as a number of different currency pairs so this it always gives us something some potential that's somewhere and something that we can do all right until the next module well we'll be we'll be looking at live trading once again thank you